all right hello everyone how you all doing in this video we are going to talk about the iphone x 10s 10r iphone 11 11 pro basically all the iphones below iphone 12 and why you guys are not able to see that unlock with face id with wearing a mask and glasses option my name is jay you are watching tech hyped if you are new here consider hitting that subscribe button because i keep making these kind of videos almost daily so i swear you better do not want to miss those sick videos all right so ios 15.4 actually brought this new feature this new toggle in face id section when you can just unlock your device if you have an apple watch if you don't have an apple watch it does not depend on that you can unlock your phone while wearing a mask and i mean it just saves so much time unlocking your phone while wearing a mask and when you don't have enough time to just put in that passcode it is just so time saving and just so good apparently you guys are not able to see that toggle on your iphone right is it possible to get that toggle on your iphone the answer is no yes i am really sorry but the answer is no because iphones below the iphone 12 does not support this feature first i thought that why is apple doing this at first place because like even if you are talking about the iphone 11 i'm not talking about the iphone 10 all right that's still really old device right so uh not having that on the iphone 10 all right i don't really mind because that's like half a decade old phone at this point almost half a decade i mean and oh my god while talking about it i just realized that iphone x will be half a decade old phone damn time flies anyways getting back to the topic so the iphone 10 11 12 uh, i mean the 10r 10s these devices do not support it and i think it is something related to hardware then apple being apple right it's not that it's there is more to it and just apple not providing those feature on your phones just so that you can just buy new iphones it is just not that i'm pretty sure because if apple had to do that they would have easily added that feature specifically for the iphone 13 series or even the iphone uh, 14 series that's coming up like come on so i looked up on internet i tried my best to find something about it but uh, ah yes 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 i was not able to find anything here is my own theory which is probably correct right so i talked to some of my friends about it and all of them agreed with me and all of them had the same opinion as me what we think is that this may be something related to the processor of iphone 12 see the iphones with the ionic chip is the iphone 10 and above which means uh, if we are just talking about the number, uh, I mean the name Bionic, it does not mean that, right? It, it's not that you will get every feature on a Bionic enabled device. It's not that it because some people over on my Twitter at the rate tech hype did said that only Bionic chips have the new features. We'll be getting a bit more nerdy as we go in this video. So if you are not someone who understands all this, I would say that's pretty much it for you being on this video, right? Just click on this subscribe button turn on notification and have a great day on i'm not one of those youtubers who just stretch their video to eight minutes just to get it extra and add those middle ads right i'm not one of those all right so you may have heard this phrase this word basically over uh, if you have ever watched an apple uh, event in last few years ever since the iphone 10 was released basically so if you have watched those events you probably know or even the mac events you probably are aware of this word named neural engine what is neural engine and what does this effect in uh, iphones having this feature and not having this feature so all right let's talk about it so if you see the neural engine thing right on the iphone 10 r it is 6.9 billion transistors nice over on the iphone 11 we have 8.5 billion transistors over on the iphone 12 which does support this feature and iphone 13 iphone 12 a14 bionic chip has 11 billion transistors then on the iphone 13 we have 15 billion transistors 
damn now that's a big number right why am i talking about these figures let's talk about it now so these figures represent a lot of things that we don't know but now that you are watching mr hype's video you know it right so a neural engine is basically used to process all your face id data and uh, the more the transistors is the more it, it is faster and it is easier for the system to just process all that data and be as secure as possible so i actually have a theory that uh, chips with uh, over 10 billion transistors are the ones with which is just only supported because if you went down from the uh, 10 billion count you have that 8.5 billion then 6.9 billion then 3 billion or some stuff so that's something thing which is still a big number right just don't get me wrong but uh, in apple sense it is not a big number because you know all right see apple is all about how it works it just works right these phrases you have probably heard if you are an apple fan you have heard this apple product just works all right so what i think is that uh, this may be because uh, iphones 10 and all those iphones does have potential to process all that data but it will take significantly longer to open your device which is you better off putting Putting in your passcode then unlocking it your face at that point and as we know apple products just works but apparently recently they are just not working come on apple the bugs on ios and all is just so frustrating anyways again getting back to the topic so what i think is that uh, they have limited this to only the iphone 12 because they don't want other users to just be frustrated why their device is taking so damn long to unlock and it is just i get that point Point, not gonna lie and at the end of the day they are just getting more apple watch sales at the end of the day you know heck yeah i mean i have so many friends who have bought an apple watch just to use that mask id feature you know well that is pretty much it for this video if you did clear up your doubts why i'm not able to see that toggle on my phone consider hitting that subscribe button because we are so damn close to 10k subscribers i want to get to 10k please please get me to 10k all right Thank you so, so much for watching my video till the end. I will catch you guys in the very next one. Peace out.